So, Satya, you're here. Good, yeah. good to see you. I'm staying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Look, um, it's interesting. You, what you, the stuff to do, the, how you heal. You're a healer. Yeah. I call a healer. Some people say doctor. I just say healer. Um, uh, but usually, when people say uh, a healer, they what, 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 you heal a certain way, uh, you, which is different uh, than than, uh, than doctors and the way people heal. Can you tell us how you started, how you began your practice, how you how, uh, what brought you to healing? Uh, I born in very poor family, so my grandfather was the like traditional healer. In, this fa- in, this, in your family? Yeah. Where, where, where was this at? Where in India where was this at? Uh, my native place is Chhattisgarh. So my grandfather's name was the Baldeo. Mm-hmm. And before I born, mm-hmm. he passed away. So I heard from my mother and father that my grandfather was the healer as well as warrior. Mm-hmm. So he was the like... Mm, village guard in the during British time. Okay, so he's a warrior and yeah. a healer. Yes. But he, he was in the British guard. Yeah. British. Like, like like an army or like a, was like. He was the, like uh, under the like uh, under the jamidar. We called it jamidar. Mm-hmm. Like local, like a king, not but not. Mm-hmm. They don't have the much power. Oh, I think I think we used to call them gardens. Yes, gardens. Okay, I, I got you. Okay, so so this is a history that you got here. So yeah. what? So so but so how did you how did you, he must have some sort of station. So how did your family become poor? <laughs> ah, maybe there's a big story of my father. Mm. He was more included in the like smoking and alcoholic. Mm. So he was not able to take care of the, his children. But my mother was the very supportive to me. Mm. He, she always used to tell me that you should move and learn mm. this kinds of stuff. Mm. So from childhood, I have in mind that I why I like to become a martial art teacher as well as healer. So you, so you had one. You want to be like your grandfather. Yes. Okay, that's good. All right. So then, uh, so your, your mother sort of kept you on that path? Your mother gave you that idea? Did you? She gave me that idea, but I don't know where to go and learn. Mm-hmm. So I was just wondering and searching everywhere. And finally, when I finished my higher secondary education, at the same time, my mother expired. Mm-hmm. So I was two years, I don't know what to do. I was very sad and depressed. How old was you then? How old were you? I was uh, like 17 years old, Mm -hmm. then help of of my one of the teachers, he told that you should go to Kerala Mm -hmm. to learn martial art. Mm -hmm. Because by then you had been doing martial arts? I was doing martial art, my first style was the Eagle Claw Kung Fu, I did one year, then I get more interested to learn more and more. Mm -hmm. So. I went to my local teachers. Mm-hmm. He supported me with to finding out that center. Then finally we found my master who trained me in Kalaripait martial art and in what kind of martial arts? Kalaripaitu. Kalaripaitu. Yeah. Is that the, is that the martial arts where they have the dojo that's six feet under the? Yes, yes. yes. I've been. To, I've, I've been, uh, one time I visited that uh, that dojo in Cairo. I think it was. Yes. And it's a very ooh, that's a very hard martial art. They're, yeah. They're it tough. Is <laughs> very tough and very far hard, and it is not about the fightings. Mm-hmm. It is more about the discipline and cultural value, and healing value also. Mm-hmm. So those Kalari master, they have the very good role in village area. They are also master, astrologer and healer. So in Kalari, we have the healing system that is called the Marma Chikitsa and also they call Marma. Marma or Varma is same. So it comes out of that, comes out of that martial art. Yes. 
okay they like so know. instead of while training the student always they oftenly injured themselves mm. dislocation bone fracture mm. any kinds of sports <coughs> injury on or like all disorder from <coughs> genetic disorder the teachers used to heal with their specific knowledge mm-hmm. the system is called siddha medicine mm-hmm. and what kind of medicine siddha medicine oh, what, how do you spell it s i d d h a siddha medicine uh-huh. it is very similar to ayurveda mm-hmm. but it is founded by the 18 siddhas Oh. the first guru name was the agastyar mm. then he spread the knowledge with 21 you know, 18 mm. disciple mm. later on the agastyar style of martial art is born mm. mm. no, no, go ahead keep keep, keep going okay go go ahead i'm sorry so 18 siddha mm. the sadhan style of martial art is the created by agastyar siddha mm. and we call it uh, like sadhan style kalari uh. also the many names are there mm. in tamil adi dadi adi morai varma kutvarshi silambam mm. chinadi mm. it is all the common name of sadhan style of kalari poet Wow. So it all comes so like a fan like a tree yes. right? like branches from one so, tree. Okay. So the without knowledge of martial art and healing mm-hmm. the one teacher is the like uncompleted. Mm-hmm. So to becoming a healer you have to first become very good mm-hmm. teacher in kalari fight mm-hmm. and also you have to know that all the spiritual knowledge and healing process and it can be learned only by the gurukul system you have to stay mm-hmm. with the master mm-hmm. training under them whatever they say to you you have to follow them mm-hmm. then slowly or gently they will give you the knowledge otherwise it is very difficult to get how long does it usually take ah uh, sounds like years and years and years and years still uh, i am doing this art since 15 years mm-hmm. and i find that is still i am incomplete mm. so it may be one birth is not enough for the having this kinds of knowledge is still i am a student so so before but you and you are under your master now your master yeah. is you still under one, your master you still see him? yes yes you one still of, see him one of the master first master he passed away mm-hmm. so now i have the another master mm-hmm. in pondicherry the first grand master is named called kartike nambiga badi mm-hmm. and my senior master name is called mm-hmm. r will murgan mm-hmm. so it seems as though you uh, it's almost like i want to say we call it generational in other words you your grandfather did something yeah. and then you got you you somehow you got the notion to do something yes, yes. but it seems like you're going to keep it has to keep on going Yes. You, you you never stop. You no. got this from another another lifetime. I want to say like that. Yes. Oh, okay. So 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 you got down to Carlo. Mm-hmm. You started you started how long ago was that when you started with at Carlo? Was still for 15 years ago. Or? I did for 7 years. Mm-hmm. Then my master told you should move to Oroville, Kerala. Mm-hmm. Go for a study purpose. Mm-hmm. But try to become separate and start practicing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because he has more confident than me mm-hmm. he has confidence in you yeah he that has you can, confidence that you can carry on the yeah, you can carry on mm-hmm. so i started slowly 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 now i am doing very well mm-hmm. and also my wife mm-hmm. she is also doing very well she is okay. learning all this stuff okay. so the, let me go just go back to your healing before we get to your wife uh this healing when when you when you're doing the, the the healing it's necessary right so do you have to uh go to a bunch of schools how do you how do you get this all you just learn from one one person how to heal just like you learn from one person how to do the art or what how does that work or, or, or do you have to go to different schools different healing methods 
to getting into the healing field you have to first finish with the one teacher mm -hmm. then same healing style has the different different method with the different teachers uh -huh. so to to gaining more knowledge you have to go to the many teachers mm. okay i see it's almost like it's like going to a medical school but then you have different classes yes. so now at the same time now now you're sort of uh, when, you, when you're in your practice right now you work with your you work with your with your wife. So she you you te you're teaching her. Or how is she learning? Uh, her father was a village healer. Ah, okay. So she got inspired of him. Then she came to me with uh, some other work. But slowly she got interested to learn this art. Mm -hmm. Now she has been with me since two years. So she's going from healer, yeah. but now she's also doing a martial arts. So she's going from yeah. you, you. You went from martial arts to healer. She's going from healer to martial arts. Is that yeah, what? Yes, yes, yes. She is learning now. Mm -hmm. So maybe in future she will be great teachers mm -hmm. in Kalari, Silangam, Verma. Well, you know, you learn by you learn learn by doing. Yeah, you know. I'm supporting her. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Whatever I can do for her. Okay. So. I want to make her independent. Mm -hmm. So, Lakshmi, what, 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 what does this mean for you? Or, or why uh, do you feel like this is your calling? Yes, yes, does she feel like this is her calling or what? Mm. You know, you know, like you had your grandfather's inspiration. Yes. She has her father's inspiration. So, beginningly, when the, his father was doing treatment, she used to support him. So that way she got the knowledge, mm -hmm. <clears throat> in locally she was doing, mm -hmm. but her knowledge was not came to the public. Ah, okay. Now after coming to me, she realized that what she has to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now she is doing very well, mm -hmm. I am very happy with that. And well, you, you, you both have an uh, uh, interesting practice because uh, a lot of this work is massage work, is Ayurvedic where you have to have a lot of oil on it, you have to work in the body, yes. almost like we call it a Swedish massage kind yes. of thing. But the oil goes into the body yeah. and then you have to manipulate the, the muscles and the tendons and the, and the skeleton structure. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, it is not kinds of Swedish massage. Marma is the kinds of like art of healing. What kind of, what kind of healing? Marma is the kind of art of healing art of healing okay art of healing mm -hmm. so where we learn about the marma marma is uh, nothing but la energy point we can also call it vital spot oh vital spots okay yeah the so certain point we have the vital spot in human body so tamil siddhas they mention it 108 vital spot in the human body mm -hmm. so we work on that I see you work on it together. My point, I guess, what I'm asking, what I'm saying is that since you work together, it's a yeah. male and a female energy. At least yeah. on my body, you both work together. Yeah. I assume if you have females, it's just her, or you both work together on everybody. How does that work? It's work. Thank you. Both we have the companion. Mm -hmm. When we work together, I think it is more effective than when I do the single. That I, I, I'm. That's exactly what I'm saying. But. Do you think it has something to do with the male and female energy? Uh, because male, men and women have different kind of energies. Uh, it think? is not uh, like um, applied for everyone. Mm -hmm. But she has the already healing power. Mm -hmm. Which she has unknown about it. Mm -hmm. So now she is doing very well. And male and female energy is the... The energy should go together. Mm. Not separately. You cannot work separately. Mm. So sometimes better than me, mm. and sometimes I am better than her. Mm. So this is not like compare comparison. Mm. We have the bit like good communication with the th treatment. What we do. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's an excellent thing. Yeah. So so, last minute you got to talk now. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna talk in Tamil, yeah. right? And so he's gonna he's gonna translate. So my question really was, uh, you're learning, but uh, uh, is it, are you learning 
because you're remembering things that your father did or you're learning because you're not? Well, how, how, how is that learning going? Is it unlocking things that you know already or you say, oh, you remember that? Uh, so she is saying that before already my, his father, her father was to eat. Uh, and after coming to me, I taught her and now she is doing very well to everybody. Mm-hmm. That that she is very happy that she is doing support to the people and giving the good service to them. Mm-hmm. So your, your, your practice is sort of small now. Yes. No? Uh, but it's, it seems to be in a year it's going to be very big because your, rep- your reputation is increasing and you're going to get a bigger space. How do you, what do you see the future of this? Yeah, we have dreamed. Now we started with the very small space. Mm-hmm. In future, we will start the good health care center and martial art training too. Mm. And which will be like a spiritual place mm-hmm. for everybody. There will be no like objection for everyone. Anyone can visit and have the treatment and training with us. But not any right to visit. You, you, you are what we call discerning. That sometimes you just say you won't accept clients. How, how do you accept somebody into your uh, into your care? How, how, do you, how do you uh, how do you uh, uh, yeah? How do you accept somebody into care? How do you, how do you accept a patient or a client? Uh, do you have a criteria mm-hmm. with? We don't have the expectation, mm-hmm. but we need good people mm-hmm. to visit. Well, let me ask you this then. Uh, it seems to me now, you, you never took a blood test from me or anything like that. You, there's no x-rays. So how does this work? How do you know what to do? Uh, we have the traditional pulse diagnosis system. So we read the pulse of the patient. So you basically work on Vata, Pita, and Kapha concept of Ayurveda treatment. So we also we call it Nadi Pariksha. Na, la, say again? Nadi Pariksha. Okay. Nadi Pariksha is also called Pulse Diagnosis Systems. Okay, okay. okay. So while the testing the pulse diagnosed, uh, almost you can understand which part or which organ is the affected. Oh, okay. and we, According to that organs, the which problems can be happened or mm-hmm. so this is like I'm not able to explain how to explain. Uh, no, no, no. It's, 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 it seems to me it's more what we call intrinsic. It's more a sense. Yes. Of and what's... I think it is because of the experience. Mm. Whenever we see the everyday the patients, so every day we learn new things mm. from them. Oh, so you have to have a relationship as long with yeah, the patients. Yeah, yes, yes. Now, well, this is the last area here. I'm just asking. Now, did you, you, your, your understanding of where the art comes from yeah. is that it actually comes because you use a lot of medicines and yeah. herbs yeah, and yeah. oils. Yeah. What, what kind of oils? Tell me about that part. Uh, basically, we prepare many ty- kinds of uh, oil, mm. especially for the. Nervous, uh, nervous systems and uh, pain relief oil. Mm-hmm. Also, there are the many kinds of herbs mm-hmm. which is used for different, different purpose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, which thing is necessary, we make the oil according to that. But your, what's the basic oil? It sounds smells like sesame oil. What's the, ah, best, what's the basic oil that you use? The combination of the ginger, coconut and neem oil. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we use also custard oil. Mm-hmm. And if there is necessary, we also add the ghee. Mm. Ghee, what is called that? Yeah, ghee, the butter, ghee, yeah. Ghee. Okay. Butter. And basically, all the ingredients mm. 
which comes from the nature like medicinal plants right. leaf stem flower and root now my uh, now you have you have understand you had said this to me, it makes sense we're in southern india yes. right now yeah. pretty close to sri lanka yes. now you say this art really come or at least the herbs everything comes from really the forest or the jungles of sri lanka then came really over here so the basis with the really good herbs and and the trees and the plants comes from sri lanka is that true or what no basically sri lanka tamil nadu and kerala this are the southern continent mm-hmm. so basically the this three state or sri lanka is now separate so we can say that three country, areas three areas, three, areas okay. three regions they have the very good quality of the herbs mm-hmm. so i cannot say that in sri lanka only the good quality herbs can be mm-hmm. found but here also there is a lot of secret medicine in oh, the forest oh i see i'm i'm doing the, the the western way which is i'm making lines but this is not a line thing yeah. but the, okay i understand i understand i understand one last thing the hot oil yeah now this is thing in this in the modern world everybody wants air conditioning yeah you know they they don't want to sweat yeah. you know now the american indians used to have to have this thing where they have sweat lodges yes. uh uh when and during my lineage comes a little bit from well my lineage comes from this, the, the slavery tradition the slavery yeah, yeah. like that where you're out there you're sweating all the time in the, in the, in the hot sun or whatever it is there's a certain release when you do the, the sweating yeah. in the modern world people no longer sweat but when you do the hot oil yeah. it's almost like you it's almost like a, a sauna it's almost like you yeah. you you you're going into the bone or whatever and yeah. you're sweating things out is that uh, it, do you how do you look so at that so basically this is right uh respiratory system sweating system and manipulative system mm-hmm. we combine together mm-hmm. so once the body is getting sweating mm-hmm. that means your internal body the toxin is releasing through the sweating holes mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so basically sweating is the very good for the our treatment because when you do the air condition the outer sweat will be dry mm-hmm. but internal toxic will be is still stay there mm-hmm. so in in everywhere if you see the africa sri lanka and all the like red indian area mm-hmm. they have their own healing systems mm-hmm. so it is came from the generation to generation and is still people are practicing it mm-hmm. but about we talk the pathology system pathology system has the like very strong chemical process pills and injection mm-hmm. so it is very effective but same time they have the side effect mm-hmm. but this traditional way of healing we have the less side effect mm-hmm. and it is more good for the human being mm-hmm. and we believe not about the like chemical process of healing we believe in spiritual healings which is came from the our tradition and it is it is more older than pathology system it is more than 5000 years ago uh oh. the many now i actually want to stop but yeah. i have to ask you about this because i we had talked about this long time ago yeah, when yeah, we yeah. first started yeah. i mean you just brought it up yeah. There is a spiritual aspect yeah. to this. Yes. Now, how, this, you, people can't do, you can't really define spiritual. I mean, you just people say spiritual and people say, "Yo, oh, 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 what does that mean?" They think. But it, tell me what that what that means when you say spiritual. A spiritual process is not like doing puja uh, all stars. When you do the healing, we have the spiritual contact with the supreme soul. Mm-hmm. So when you do the perform the therapy, mm-hmm. the all such situ- yeah, what you do pray to the your supreme soul mm-hmm. so we believe that mm-hmm. the power came from the supreme self transfer to the healer mm-hmm. and it's transfer to the patient so through the spiritual power with the supreme soul mm-hmm. the healer can transfer to the patient then automatic it goes well, well then i must ask this question here yeah what 
Does the patient have to have a spiritual aspect? Just they had they should have the faith what we are doing. Mm-hmm. If they, if you are if you don't have the faith with us, believe on us, mm-hmm. then the maybe uh, treatment will be not effective. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let, no, okay, so I want to stop there. Yeah. Let me stop there, uh, yeah. and then we're, we're going to have a part two in just a second. Yeah.